would like you to give an enormous round of applause for the very talented Stephen Williams. <laughs> There, people, how you all doing? Eh? Yeah. All right. Now, there's nothing wrong with a wee bit of cross dressing on a Saturday night, is there? Eh? What nights, anyways? Oh, who's cooting? Right, now, cross dressing. Let's see who's actually into this with a wee show of hands, okay? Okay, here we go. So, who likes to dress up as a woman on a Saturday night? Yeah. That's no bad. Mostly women. Which is to be expected, let's face it. <laughs> okay, there was actually a few gentlemen over there put their hands up too. I've got a lot of respect for that sort of bravery, guys, okay? Great, so kilts, I'm Scottish obviously, so kilts, skirts, it's just a wee hop and a skip away from a bit of cross-dressing. A bit of lipstick, it's not, it's not a moustache, it's lipstick. <laughs> and a feather boa. Do you like my feather boa? Yeah. I was going to get a pink one. But then I thought, no. Two pansy! <laughs> so we got this pure blue one. Much more macho. Okay, truth is, I'm not actually a woman. I know, shock Aww. horror, I know. <laughs> Neither am I gay. No. That really shocked you, didn't it? Especially those guys over there. <laughs> right? Okay. But I'm not actually Scottish. No. I am indeed English, yes. My name's Steve, I'm from Wimbledon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am actually English. That was uh, my dad's accent there. He was Scottish, obviously. Um, my wife's just sitting over there. She's, look, she's looking, she's got a hand glued to her face, going, oh no! <laughs> she said I should get a hobby. So I thought I'd try transvestism, hey? <laughs> Why wouldn't you, darling, hey? It's better than golf, isn't it? At least you don't have to wear such ridiculous clothes. What with the, the tartan trousers and the one glove, it's like some warp Bay City Roller Michael Jackson fan. <laughs> Although Michael Jackson's probably more into mini golf. <laughs> mini golf. Okay, so um, I'm actually a musician by trade and not a transvestite. Um, and my other hobby is accents. I love accents. And I was wondering recently about. Uh, what would happen with two people, a man and a woman in a relationship, where their accents are very different indeed? Take, for example, a very posh Englishman in a relationship with a lady from the deep south of Ireland, and for the musical part, singing, let's call the whole thing off. I say potato, and you say potato. I say tomato, and you say potatoes. <laughs> potato. Potatoes. Tomato. Potatoes. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. Or, indeed, um, a relationship with a woman from Scotland. I say potato, and you say. What do you mean, not eat fried? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, I also, uh, as a musician, I'm interested in the way some accents are based on musical notes. The perfect fourth, for example. Da, 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 da. That's a perfect fourth for those of you who are not musicians. Oh, it's that accent there. Yes, it's the Brummy accent. Yes, based on the perfect fourth. Quite amazing musical. <laughs> or there is the semitone. Da, da. That's not Joe's. Da, da. Yes, it's that accent there, you know, the scout Saxon, they just keep going on and on and on. You can, can't shut them up, can you? Do I sound like Paul O'Grady? <laughs> Hopefully I don't look like him. Maybe a bit. Um, or oh, there's this accent, man, which is the Geordie accent. It's about 15 octaves. <laughs> Do I sound like Cheryl Cole? <laughs> Do I look like Cheryl Cole? <laughs> Maybe on a bad day? Um, I'm also amazed at the way some accents have migrated from one country to another, and the country has adopted that accent. Take, for example, uh, the Northern Irish accent uh, has been migrated, it's migrated over to North America, and it's been adopted by the North Americans. The Northern Irish, they start off over here very gently, get on a boat, 
And here they go over to America, and before you know it, you're in America. It sounds very similar to Northern Irish. And you get back on the boat, and before you know it, you're in Northern Ireland again. I'm getting a bit angry. I don't know why I got angry then. Um, <laughs> something to do with the accent. Um, also, the Scottish, um, they migrated over to Canada. So the Scottish, get up, they get on a boat over here, sail over the seven seas, because they like to exaggerate the Scots. Seven seas, go over to the other side, and before you know it, you're in Canada, okay? Ah, yeah, you're in Canada, back on the boat, and you migrate back over here to you back in Scotland. It's quite incredible. And the lesser known fact that, I'm out of the lights, that the Indians migrated to Wales. Yes. <laughs> Not many people know that. Yes. They start off over here in India, okay? They get on the boat, and they sail. They have to go long way around Africa, I'm afraid. They sail down the bottom of Africa. I think the Suez Canal might have been closed. Get around here, around Spain, and they're back over to Wales before you know it, you're in Wales. <laughs> How did that happen? Thank you. Back on the boat, over in Brown, the and you're back over in India again. I nearly fell off the stage. India, Wales. India, Wales. And somewhere in the middle is, I don't know where it is, okay? Okay, I think I've run out of time now. Um, I was told I could only have a little slot, but I'm saving up for the breasts. Boom, boom. my best joke. <laughs> um, but I want to leave you with one revelation. And that revelation is, even though I dress up as a woman, I don't think I'm man enough to be a woman. My name's Morag. I mean, Steve Williams, good night. <laughs> well, I'm Steve. <laughs> Stephanie, actually. You're going to stand here on the Scottish side. I know. I nearly did. He really was the winner by quite a few points, and I am delighted to announce that the winner is Stephen Williams! <laughs> and uh, Stephen, Stephen, we have a little trophy for you to remember us by. Uh, all the way from TK Maxx. <laughs> We're crowning Stephen the winner of the...